program like this typically takes several months to plan. Most national conferences take at least uh, almost a year, year and a half sometimes. Over the last six months, we've been working on it and I've been working with my colleagues from all seven institutions to put together at least the objectives and kind of the framework around it and then working with the team here at Virginia State University. So it's a combination of working with those colleagues there and then working with the team here so that it all kind of aligns and then you have a one solid program. Having been in a predominantly white space for the last 20 years and coming back to an HBCU, that building of community, so having all these HBCUs represented to build that community and feel supported, right? Because I've been in a space where it's just been the one person of color. So to see all these awesome professionals as well as the students, so our future generation coming up and being able to support and encourage them and empower them and give them a voice. So how do we build that community? How do we continue to support each other, encourage each other and to give our students a voice so that as they walk into the future, they're just as confident as we are in what we can do and what we can achieve as a community of color. There are still students who are struggling with anxiety because they were thinking about the grade. What grade am I going to get? They weren't able to fully immerse themselves in amazing experiences even though they're right there. I think a big part of it has to go with defining the workforce. And so having young people right alongside professors and deans and folks who are running the departments, I think that was an opportunity for everyone to be able to say, okay, what are we actually trying to do? What is the generation that we're trying to prepare and what's the world that we're trying to prepare them for? And so it's more about how do we explore and learn how to work together rather than trying to develop one method for getting our young people there, but how do we empower them so that they're able to define their own journey in a, in a world that's changing constantly, right? Rapid change globally and, um, and at the national level as well. I think the biggest thing is making sure that we get enough representation from all of the institutions. Most of the folks that showed up to this symposium this year were the institutions that were part of the planning. I would love to see us have people participate from all of the institutions. I would love for us to have some people participate that aren't from the institutions at all. So even in this symposium, we had some industry people here. We had the mentor collective folks. We had the student exchange people here, and so making sure that we have our partners with us, make sure we have our stakeholders with us. I think it's important to have a bigger collection of people to participate in this symposium.